after a dynamite Russian duo delivered gold in the pairs competition, adding to an unprecedented Winter Olympic dynasty. A gratifying moment for Yelena Beresnaya and Anton Sikorelitsa, who fell one clean lift shy of gold four years ago. Yet both medals are particularly gratifying for Yelena, whose career and life were nearly ended two years before Nagano by former partner Oleg Shlyakov. Here's Tom Hammond. She started to be silent. She never told me what was the problem. I didn't see how he hit her. The injury was in December. I can't say that it happened on purpose. Oleg's skate uh, entered her uh, head. It was a severe injury, so they had to open her skull because of the brain damage. For one month she was in the hospital recovering after this injury. I was so scared. Because everybody told me to hear it, I was scared. And I just want to go home. hospital bed, Yelena's life was destined to change. A close friend she had met while training in St. Petersburg would now come to her side and bring her home. His name was Anton Sikorelitsa. I knew already everything about her injury and it was a really big thing. I came to her hospital. <laughs> it was... Really, really bad picture, and Elena was so small. When Anton came, there was no, the first time crying for the whole time. and we just start skating arms to arms. It was the first time after the injury when I saw her smile. Skating helped uh, Elena get back to life and back to activity, back to uh, happiness, uh, uh, back to the society. in Nagano, it was not a time for me when I thought we must win these Olympic Games. We already felt good. Elena doesn't have any problems with her health. It was a good time for us. If Elena and Anton will not fall on the last lift, I think they would have the gold. Elena and Anton's magical moment was not to be in Nagano. In the years that followed, they would at times dominate, winning two world championships. Yet, throughout their years together, they have seen more than their share of frustration. Return to the Olympic Games, hoping to write one more chapter in their star-crossed relationship. 
so many stories, so many unbelievable things happen. But it's life. It's our life. You know? Imagine. And as if there weren't enough distractions for both the Russian and Canadian pairs before last night's competition, Sikorilitsa and Canada's Jamie Saleh collided in warm-up last night. Saleh mentioned after the competition that she was a little banged up, but her performance did not suffer. When we come back, we'll show you both.